I'm Whitney Yeager and I'm a teacher and a candid portrait photographer. I specialize in black and white candid portraits of family and children. I grew up down the street from the Maryland Institute of Art in downtown Baltimore. And, my, and this is kind of more anecdotal and more, maybe a little more interesting, is that my mom used to hire art students to be our babysitters. And they were always taking pictures of us, as were she and her sisters, so who are also photographers. And so I grew up having my picture taken um, and living around this art community. And, um, and I wanted to be just like them. You know, that, that, that to me looked like just the most fun in the world. And so that was what got me started, you know, just always looking at those black and white pictures. Well, of course, my three children inspire me, um, but all, all children inspire me. Um, just watching them engage in the natural world and being unconscious about themselves and um, the, the imperfections of life. So Sally Mann put it perfectly when she refers to the quotidian, which is just the everyday, the dirt, the ordinary. Um, that's where I see beauty. First and foremost, Sally Mann inspires me, and then Jacques Sturgis and Dorothea Lange. Sally Mann's black and whites of her children are just so elegant and artful, and um, the way she incorporates them into the natural world. Jacques Sturgis nudes as well um, in the beaches of France are just beautiful images. Um, he takes pictures over the subject's lifetime so you can see them as young children and to adults. The um, image that Dorothea Lange took that's most memorable to me of course in the rest of the world is the migrant mother um, and I love all of her images. They're very photojournalistic. So the quote that resonates with me the most is a quote by Sally Mann uh, where she says, I pray for what might be referred to as the angel of chance. And for me, that sums up everything that I think of when I approach taking a picture. Because if you can control aspects of lighting, of course, and composition, it's that timing element that you rely a little bit on the angel of chance for, and you have some control over it, but not 100%, and so you just have to make everything um, welcoming to that angel of chance for the perfect picture. In my photographing children workshop, it's half hands-on, half lecture. We, at the start of the class, set up your personal goals so I can differentiate instruction according to whatever the needs are of each student. Um, we talk about the art of distraction of the children, of your subjects, um, the three pillars of photography, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. And then we work as a group um, editing, cropping, and it's very collaborative. So we're always working and studying and learning from each other. I teach because I want to help people um, realize their fullest potential and to find their own passion. For me, it's incredibly rewarding to um, help people be become more aware of their own strengths and talents. From my workshop, people will learn how to connect better with their subjects, how to find the picture within the picture, how to see beauty where they wouldn't normally see it, and just generally making print-worthy images and sharing photos online that they're proud of.